in a field at rest, a suspended sediment particle falls because it is heavier than water. The terminal fall velocity is a particle safety velocity at equilibrium when the sum of all the forces are equal to zero. In open channel flow, the particle fall velocity is further affected by the flow turbulence and the interaction with surrounding particles. Let us consider a sediment particle settling in the fluid at rest. The forces acting on the solid particle include the drag force, the weight force and the buoyant force. The buoyant force on a submerged body is the difference between the vertical component of the pressure force on its underside and the vertical pressure component on its upper side. Let's illustrate the concept by considering a fish in a tank. The pressure force exerted on the fish equals the weight of water above it. As the pressure below the fish is larger than immediately above, a reaction force, that is a buoyant force, is applied to the fish in the vertical direction. This movie illustrates a stingray at National Museum of Marine Biology and Aquarium in Taiwan. The buoyant force counteracts the pressure force and equals the weight of displaced liquid. At equilibrium, the momentum equation in the vertical z direction yields an exact balance of the forces, and hence we obtain an expression with the particle motion being downward, namely, the particle fall velocity being negative. For a spherical particle, this general expression can be transformed or simplified. In the settling velocity expression, the drag coefficient is a nonlinear term, function of the particle fall number, where mu is a fluid dynamic viscosity. Namely, the drag coefficient is a function of the particle size, settling velocity, and fluid properties. Experimental observations are shown in this graph, including for spherical particles and sand particles. For natural sand and gravel particles, the dry coefficient experimental data are best fitted by relationship with the dry coefficient being equal to 24 over the Reynolds number plus 1.5. For Reynolds number less than 1, the fall is a laminar process. For Reynolds number greater than 1000, the particle fall is a turbulent motion. Observation of terminal settling velocity of sediment particles are shown on this graph. Large size particles fall faster than small particles. Fine particles, for example silt, tend to settle in a laminar flow motion, while large particles, such as gravel, fall in a turbulent flow motion. At the limits, the particle fall velocity is proportional to the square of the particle size for laminar motion and proportional to the square root of the particle size for turbulent motion. The data shown here correspond to the terminal settling velocity of a single sediment particle in water at 20 Celsius. The settling velocity of sediment particles is a key physical property used in particular to predict the onset of sediment suspension on suspended sediment transport rate. The present development is focused on the terminal velocity of a single particle. In real open channel flow, the effect of sediment concentration on turbulence are relevant, as discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies.